Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of How to Play Mind Test. Uh, we're on the new 0.4.14 version, so things may look a little differently. And uh, I just finished reading Harry Potter number one over again to make sure everything was coming together correctly. And let's just say we got to fix a lot of things. Um, this episode, we're going to be focused on fixing the front door. Multiple times it says there's a staircase into the front door, and as you can see, well, there isn't at the moment. So, um, that's what we're going to focus on today. Um, I was also hoping to show you guys some things that might happen as you transition to 0.4.14 from an older version. One of those is because of the switch with the doors from two pieces to one piece, you may get an unidentified block for a minute. So I haven't been down to the Slytherin common room. Nope, looks like it already changed them. Maybe it's just when the world loads. But you get two unidentified blocks and then you walk closer and it turns into doors. So that's something to just keep in mind as you're uh, transitioning between the two. But, as stated, we need to get the front door fixed, because we've got to have that staircase to make it accurate with the book. So, what we're going to do... Fortunately, I left a good space here between the castle and uh, the train station. So we have room. We can go ahead and dig this down right through here and put in a staircase going up into the school itself. So I think what we'll do is we'll start right here by the school, or the castle, and, well, actually, in my mind you would have some kind of landing here first, so let's take care of that. I mean, if it's a great big old castle, just squished scabbers there, that's all right. He's a traitor anyway. Alright, so I'm thinking if we come out like this, that should be a good sized landing for a grand castle staircase. So we'll start digging down right here. And I forget, no, it's the grand staircase inside is a marble staircase, it just says a staircase here. So we will dig this down. Uh, something else that kind of popped up that I forgot about is the uh, <clears throat> first years come in on boats and I read very carefully that uh, they come right in under the castle it sounds like next to the Slytherin common room maybe this is where the boat dock is so it's actually under the castle and then they come up a cavern staircase type thing and go across the lawn and then into the school. So we've got to incorporate that into our design as well. So what I'm thinking is, um, once we get this whistled up here, that we will... Four wide, there we go. Start looking at um, adding that passageway in, um, possibly incorporating this staircase right here that we uh, built earlier that goes down into what was going to be the dungeons and then we realized the castle was going to be over here, not over here. Um, so we could incorporate some of this in possibly, um, otherwise I may go closer to the school here, maybe dig some of this out and make a tunnel that goes down and then out to the lake again where we can put the boat dock down there and we may end up moving our train station as well over to that side because as long as we can get to the castle quickly I don't care if it's that close and it would be more accurate to the book doing it that way anyway so just something we're going to keep in mind here alright <clears throat> to make this a little bit more natural we're going to landscape some of this out over here so that the staircase looks like it's actually going up something. Yeah, maybe like that. Uh, 
And for now we're just going to build the staircase. We can come back later and landscape this in a way that makes it feel a little bit more natural, like it was just built naturally on top of the stone here instead of we built it and oops, now we got to fix it. Alright, it doesn't say how big the staircase is, so I think we'll go down one more, maybe, and then we'll go out here a ways, and then we can start stair-stepping back up to meet up with our road over here. The funny part is I actually built this up uh, previously <laughs> in order to get a nice flat entrance to the castle, because it had been long enough I couldn't remember uh, if there was a staircase in or not. So now we know, and now we're fixing it. Try to get something that at least looks kind of natural out this way. Because once you're out on the school grounds, uh, they don't talk about things as specifically. Alright, that looks pretty good there. <clears throat> In fact, there's several spots where I was reading, and it was like, okay, they didn't give us any detail at all about how they got from here to there. For example, uh, Gryffindor Tower to the trophy room for the duel with Malfoy. It says they go up a staircase from the second floor to the third floor to get to the trophy room, yet the Gryffindor common room is accessed from the seventh floor through the portrait of the fat lady, which makes absolutely no sense at all. So um, that's one that we're gonna have to reconcile. I don't know if there's a staircase that goes directly from the sixth or the seventh floor down to the second floor, so it's easier for the Gryffindors to get to and from breakfast in the Great Hall. Maybe that's what's going on. So actually if we can tie this in over here, that's gonna look very natural. We could ooh. Well, we're gonna have to fill that in, in a minute. That'll be exciting. <clears throat> I was hoping to tie into something there, but apparently not. Alright, it looks like we go clear back to right here. That's kind of where we stopped. Okay. Try to not keep this too terribly long. Like I said, I'm just doing the staircase for now and just some little landscaping here to make it look a little bit more natural so that when I come back I have an idea of what it's where I'm headed yeah something kinda like that Okay. and of course the bad guys are gonna come out because it's nighttime so that'll be exciting here in a minute Okay, just slowly get our slope tied in over here that looks pretty good there <coughs> Sorry for the frog in my throat tonight. I'm coughing a lot into the microphone. I'm sure it's annoying everyone. So I apologize profusely. And at some point I'll have to come dig out all this stone down here and put dirt back in like I did earlier on this one. And then get our cobblestone road built back in. Let's just go ahead and, yeah, that's fairly good there. Digging those uh, lanterns my brother gave me, those are really bright. I like that. Alright, so I'm thinking, yeah, I gotta have at least one more. Of course, if we're putting step steps on this. Do I have any on me? I don't. Just for kicks and squiggles so we can see how it looks. Let me get... Hmm. 
Hmm. Are we alright with this? Yeah, it doesn't say it's a huge staircase, just a staircase. So, we may just go ahead and roll with that. So let's kind of block this in so that looks a little bit better. And let's go ahead and get those other stairs built. Even though I have a gazillion of them in my chest, which is just two feet away from me. Okay, that could work for now. I'm alright with that. And let's see, we probably want to put kind of a landing area in here so that we have a transition space between the two block wide stair or trail and the four block wide stairs. And if I decide to make the staircase bigger later, that's fine too. Uh oh, here comes the baddies. See if I get attacked here in a minute. So I guess the lesson I'm trying to uh, point out with this video is make sure you know exactly what you're building before you start. It will save you a load of headache later. Because I could have just left all this down the way it was and done my staircase in instead of uh, doing it the way I did and needing to come back and fix everything. Alright, so we'll want to set those back another block. But that's pretty much what I wanted to do. Whoa, that was close. That was just in the nick of time. That guy was coming right for me. Alright, let's head back to bed and we will end this episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, sorry for the gravelly voice. Hopefully I'll be better in the next episode. And remember to make sure that you know what you're building before you start. Save yourself a lot of headache. Up in bed here. Good night. Alrighty. We will catch you guys next time. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, go build something.